Well, hi, all my friends. So um, we're in Psalm 6. Uh, just a few comments before we get started. Um, I'm very pleased about what um, Donald Trump is doing uh, in the Middle East, and I'm very pleased about his condemnation of uh, terrorists and how uh, the PLO Palestinians have to stop um, stipending uh, their uh, families of the uh, terrorists who blow themselves up. Uh, they stipend the families, okay? And that kind of stuff has stopped, even though that's a baby step. Um, I'm just really pleased about what he's been doing so far. More uh, pleased about how the response from the other countries are um, coming out in all of the news uh, that I've been seeing. Um, their support of Donald and the hopefulness and um, returning, hopefully, of peace. And we know biblically that Saudi Arabia will align with Israel on all the other countries, Jordan and Yemen and, sorry, Jordan, uh, Ethiopia, Egypt, all those countries will come into alignment and there will be a time of peace and safety. And when that's announced, we know <laughs> at any time, you know, right? So it actually could happen today. We don't know, but uh, the return of the Lord. So, um, uh, or the rapture is what I'm trying to say. Rapture and then, you know, uh, okay. So when, they, and again, when they, as soon as they say peace and safety, sudden destruction is upon them. So uh, we'll, we'll see how, how this all plays out. Um, and, and we're actually living in some really interesting times historically. Um, so I just wanted to, to put that out there. Also, my prayers to the families of uh, Manchester, England. Again, England, you you know, you started off with the right foot with the bread exit, but you really need to rethink what's going on in your own little island there. Um, so, um, I, I, I my my prayers and and thoughts go out to the families who've lost all those children. All of them are children to me, um, you know, uh, young as eight years old, I believe, and just, you know, what a, what a waste. And um, so, so things need to be rethought about how stuff is done. And you know darn well that when there's huge crowds, if they don't have the most utmost security for these venues and they don't start changing things, it's just gonna become open targets just as schools are here and, and in the United States and, uh, you know, other public venues. So, um, yeah, anyway, well, you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's get to Psalm, Psalm 6. David is complaining about his sickness, um, and uh, he, this is a psalm that David wrote about him not feeling well. He says, O Lord, rebuke me not in thy anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sorely vexed. And But thou, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver my soul, and save me for thy mercy's sake. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's the gardeners. It's Tuesday. Um... Return, O Lord, deliver my soul, save me for thy mercy's sake. For in thy death there is no remembrance of thee in the grave. Who shall give thee thanks? I am weary with all of my groaning. All the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It waxes old because of mine enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. And the Lord hath heard my supplication, and the Lord will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sorely vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Psalm 7. David prays against the malice of his enemies, professing his innocence. By faith, he sees his defense and derides their vain enterprises. Shigai Ion of David, which is 
saying unto the Lord concerning the words of Cush and the Benjamite. And remember, these songs, all of these songs were sung, and they were all used in the temple, okay, for prayer and worship and singing and everything. Okay, so what I'm reading to you was used in the temple. Isn't that cool? Okay, anyway, all right, I think it is. Uh, oh Lord, my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all of them that persecute me and deliver me. Lest he tear my soul like a lion, sorry, tear my soul like a lion, rendering it in pieces while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let my enemy persecute my soul and take it, yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thy anger. Lift up thyself because of my, uh, of my range, rage of mine enemies and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sake. Therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous of God trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright to heart. God judges the righteous. God is very angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travail with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made it a pit and digged it and fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent Dealing shall come down upon his own plate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praises to the name of the Lord in the Most High. Okay, Psalm 8. God's glory magnified by his works, he gives man dominion. To the chief musician upon Giftath, a Psalm of David. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Who has set thy glory upon, upon the heavens? Out of the mouth of babes and suckling hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, and thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens and thy work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou hast visited him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the path of the seas. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name! in all the earth. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay, and where are we? Okay, Psalms 9. David praises God for executing justice. He exhorts others to praise him. To the chief musician upon Muslabin, a Psalm of David. I will praise thee, O oh Lord, with my whole heart, I will show forth all of thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O oh, the Most High. And when thy enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou statest in the throne of judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. 
Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. Thou, enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities, and their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness, and he shall master judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord will also be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, O Lord, hast not forsaken them that seeketh thee. Sing praises to the Lord which dwell in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of death, that I might show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion, and I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, in the net which they hid is their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is a snare in the work of his own hands. Higagayan Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. Um, Psalms 10. David complains to God of the pride of the wicked. Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hiddest thou self in the times of trouble? The wicked in his pride do pursue the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boast of the heart's desire and bless the covetous, covetous, uh, covetedness whom the Lord abhorred. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. God is not in all of his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. The judgments are far above, out of his sight. As for all of his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud, and under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places in the villages, in the secret places does he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his dead den. He lieth in watch. Why, Allah. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor, and when he draweth him into his net, he croucheth, and he humbleth himself, and the poor may fall by his strong ones. He hath said in his heart, God has forgotten. He is hidden in his face. He will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thy hand. Forget not the humble. Wherefore does the wicked condemn God? He hath said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it. Thou hast behold mischief and spite to requite it with thy hand. And the poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou arm of the wicked in the evil man. See out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. The Lord thou hast heard the desire of the humble that will prepare their heart that will cause thine ear to hear to judge the father, fatherless, the oppressed, the man of the earth may no more oppress. Okay, I need to stop there. All right, Psalms 11 tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday. Bye.